Welcome back everyone. If y equals 5 over 2x minus 7 over 2 and y equals negative 4x plus 16, then what is the value of x squared minus y squared? The answer to this question is a negative 7. So let's explore how to get there as quickly as possible. So when we read the question, we always want to start off with context. What's going on? What do I recognize? When I read this, I see here that we have if, okay, equation and equation, then what's the value of x squared minus y squared? So this is your goal, x squared minus y squared. We want to figure out what that is. Now, in order to figure out what that is, it seems like we're going to have to figure out what x and y are. And then we can essentially substitute those values for this expression and figure out its result, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So the only question is, how am I going to get there? So now we want to apply the math here. How do we do this? Well, I easily see here that we have two equations and both equations use X and Y. So with that said, this is a system of equations. I can use this to create a system of equations. And just solve as normal. So we have Y equals five halves X minus seven halves. And then we also have Y equals negative four X plus 16. What I'll do here, since this y and this y, essentially we're trying to figure out where these two equations have the same y. Well, the way that we're gonna figure that out is by setting the equations equal to each other. So five over two x minus seven halves equals negative four x plus 16. Again, we can do this because the y's are the same. We wanna figure out what y would make them both the same because it's gonna allow us to find x and y to plug into our answer. So from here, I'm looking at this and I'm already disgusted because I have a fraction on the left side and we never want fractions. We don't want that here and there. So what I'll do is I'll multiply both equations, or sorry, both sides of the equation by two. By doing that, we're gonna distribute. And when we distribute, the two is gonna cancel in the denominator on the left side of the equation. So this will become five X minus seven which is a lot cleaner than it was before. Again, after distributing, the two cancels with those denominators. On the right side, we'll go ahead and multiply the two, and we'll have negative eight X plus 32 there. So with that said, what we're gonna do now is just solve for X. We'll add eight X to both sides, giving me 13 X minus seven equals 32. From there, I'll add seven to both sides, giving me 39 on the right, canceling on the left, and 13x. From there, we'll divide 13 on both sides, allowing me to receive x equals three. So we have my x. Now all I have to do is figure out y. Now I'm not gonna use this one. That one's too fractiony. I don't really like it too much. I wanna save time by using this one. Y equals negative four multiplied by three plus 16. Negative four times three is negative 12. So we have y equals negative 12 plus 16, which gives us y equals four. From there, we have my x, we have my y, we're good to go. So my answer for x squared minus y squared will be three squared minus four squared, which translates to nine minus 16, which equals negative seven. So with that said, that's why a is the answer everybody. If you'd like to look over the written solution, go ahead and do so. But otherwise, I'm Anderson, your math magician. We'll see you in the next question.